Friday we learned um, about quadratic solving applications and today we are going to finish up example two. So on Friday we actually started this example. Um, we watched that video about Top Golf, and let me just remind you um, that Top Golf is a building um, where there are several um, different levels um, of lanes where you can play a golf or not golf but drive golf balls off of the edge. And so this is just a picture of what Top Golf looks like. And let's go back to our example. So in example number two, we said you go to Top Golf to hit some golf balls. You hit a ball into the air from the edge of a building 50 feet above the ground. Its initial velocity is 20 feet per second. The equation h equals negative 16 t squared plus 20 t plus 50 can be used to model the height of the ball after t seconds. After how long does it take for the ball to hit the ground? So just to bring us back to where we were at on Friday, I'm going to go ahead and draw that picture again. So we have the top golf building, and depending on the location, whether it's in Indianapolis or Vegas or Birmingham, Alabama, each of the top golf locations have different levels. So let's say that this is you, you're here on the fourth level, and it tells us right here that you are 50 feet above the ground. So right here is showing that you are at 50 feet. You have your golf club in hand, and you hit the golf ball, and a golf ball is not going to go straight down, but it's going to have a little bit of a lift to it before it comes back down, creating this parabola-like picture. So the golf ball lands right here. Our goal is to see how long does it take for the ball to hit the ground. For step two, we just need to determine what is the question asking for. So what are we looking for? We are looking for time. And make sure that you guys put down what type of unit. Are we talking about seconds, minutes, or hours? And in this case, it says the height of the ball after t seconds. So we're talking about how many seconds will the golf ball be up in the air until it lands on the ground? So I'm going to go ahead and erase that picture, and now let's go into the math part of this. For step number three, it says solve for the variable. Well, let's go back to our equation. Our equation says h equals negative 16 t squared plus 20 t plus 50. We have two variables. So obviously we are solving for t, which equals time, which means we have to know h. So think about this. We start at 50 feet tall, and then the ball landed where? It landed on the ground, which means that the ground equals zero. So we're going to plug zero in for h. And again, just to give me a little bit more room, I'm going to erase that, bring that up here. And we are going to write the equation and set it equal to zero. So our equation again is negative 16 t squared plus 20 t plus 50. and we will set that equal to zero. The question becomes, how do we solve it? So we have factoring, we have factor by grouping, we have quadratic formula. So if we go through our questioning techniques, our first question is, is the leading coefficient a one? And the answer is no. The second question is, can we take this leading coefficient of negative 16 and divide it evenly through the problem? Again, the answer is no. So then our third thing is, what do we do about that? So you have two choices, you have factor by grouping or you have quadratic formula. Now if you do factor by grouping, if you just future think this, you're going to have to figure out what multiplies together to give us this really large number and adds up to 20. And honestly, my brain's not willing to think that hard, so I'm going to use the quadratic formula. We're going to set up our A, B, and C. We're going to plug it into the formula, which at this point you should already know the formula. If you do not, then you need to get that memorized. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and work that out. Negative 20 plus or minus. For our discriminant, this is going to equal 400. And I'll just be honest with you, I haven't worked this out. So I'm going to get my handy dandy calculator and I have negative 4 times negative 16 times 50 and that gives me positive 3200. So my discriminant is 3600 over negative 32. I am now going to split this into two problems. I have negative 20 plus 
If you take the square root of 3600 on your calculator, you will get 60. So we have negative 20 plus 60 over negative 32. And we have negative 20 minus 60 over negative 32. All right, so for our first one, we're going to have 40 divided by negative 32. That gives us negative 1.25. For our next one, we're going to have negative 80 on top and negative 80 divided by negative 32 gives us 2.5. So that leads us to step number four. We have two solutions, but the question is, what is the only solution possible? Remember, we need to get rid of any of the extraneous solutions. So last week we talked about how distance cannot be negative. Also, time cannot be negative. It would not be possible for the golf ball to take negative 1.25 seconds. So we're gonna cross that off, which leaves us with 2.5 so our answer is 2.5 seconds is the time that it takes for the golf ball to land on the ground. All right, so the plan of action now is for you to flip over your paper. You guys are now going to do the practice problem. I'm going to get it set up for you, and then you guys are going to work on your own, and then uh, the sub will reveal what the answer is going to be. All right, so the practice number two, flipping over our papers. An object is launched at 19.6 meters per second from a 58.8 meter tall platform. The equation for the object's height, s, at time t seconds after the launch is the following equation, where s is in meters. When does the object strike the ground? All right, so they haven't given us any specifics. Like the last one we knew was a golf ball, but this time it's some type of object. We just know that it's on some type of platform that is 58.8 meters tall. So we have this object, perhaps it's a football that's being tossed, and that object is gonna go up, and it's going to land on the ground. Very similar to the last picture. So all we need to know is how much time in seconds does it take for this object to land on the ground? So if when we get to step three, we are going to have S of T equals negative 4.9 T squared plus 19.6 T plus 58.8. If it is landing on the ground, then that means that we are going to replace this with zero. And at this point, you're going to use quadratic formula and solve it from there. All right, the sub will give you the follow or give you some additional directions on what you're going to do the rest of the period. Have a great day, guys.